In December 2023, India made history by launching its first ever winter expedition to the Arctic, becoming the first Asian nation to commence year-round observations in Svalbard, the world's northernmost inhabited place. This significant milestone highlights India's growing presence and research efforts in the Arctic region. In this video, we'll explore India's Arctic and Antarctica research facilities, their locations, and the importance of India's scientific endeavors in these remote and challenging environments. India's first permanent Arctic research station, Himadri, is located in the Nialasund region of Svalbard, Norway, just 1,200 kilometers from the North Pole. Established in 2008, Himadri serves as a hub for Indian scientists to conduct research in various fields, including atmospheric sciences, glaciology, and microbiology. With this expedition, India became the fourth country in the world, after Germany, Italy, and Norway, to have a year-round scientific presence in the Arctic region. India's first winter expedition to the Arctic marks a significant milestone in the country's polar research endeavors. The expedition, led by the National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, NCPOR, aimed to conduct atmospheric observations during polar nights, study auroral changes and monitor variations in sea ice. The primary objective was to gain valuable insights into the Arctic's impact on global climate, as well as to understand the interactions between the Arctic climate and the Indian monsoon system. The expedition aligns with India's Arctic policy, which emphasizes scientific cooperation, environmental protection, and sustainable development in the rapidly evolving Arctic landscape. By examining Arctic's conditions and dynamics, India will contribute to a broader understanding of global warming effects. Studying the Arctic is crucial for understanding global climate change and its impact on the Indian monsoon. Many extreme precipitation events in India have been linked to the loss of Arctic sea ice, and the increased intensification of Arabian Sea cyclones is also associated with a warmer Arctic. By establishing a strong presence in the Arctic, India aims to understand this unique and fragile environment and its far-reaching effects on the world's climate. As India's polar journey will be incomplete without looking at India's Antarctica presence, so let's have a brief look over southern end of globe also. India's presence on this icy continent is focused on its two research stations, Parati and Maitri, and the India's new Antarctica policy. India's Antarctic journey began with Dakshin Gangotri, India's first station established in 1983, but it was abandoned in 1988 after being submerged in ice. Since then, the Indian Antarctic program, managed by the National Center for Polar and Ocean Research, has completed over 40 scientific expeditions. India officially became a signatory to the Antarctic Treaty in 1983, affirming its commitment to using Antarctica exclusively for peaceful purposes and scientific research. Maitri, which means friendship in Hindi, is India's second permanent research base in Antarctica. Established in 1989, Maitri is situated on the rocky mountainous region called Shermaka Oasis. This state-of-the-art facility can accommodate up to 25 scientists during winter and around 40 in summer. Maitri serves as a hub for conducting research in various fields such as geology, atmospheric sciences and human physiology. India's latest research station, Bharati, was commissioned in 2012. Located in the Lassaman Hills region, Bharati is constructed using 134 shipping containers, making it a unique and innovative facility. Equipped with advanced laboratories, Bharati focuses on oceanographic studies and understanding the geological history of the Indian subcontinent. Interestingly, Bharati also houses an Indian space research organization, ISRO, ground station that receives data from Indian remote sensing satellites. India's commitment to Antarctica is further solidified by the Indian Antarctic Bill passed in 2022. The bill aims to protect the Antarctic environment, promote scientific research, and regulate activities in this region. Interestingly, it also extends the jurisdiction of Indian courts to Antarctica, ensuring the safety and security of Indian expeditions.